Doing formal checks in algebra equations is a really good idea because you can tell if you're right or wrong before you're even handing in your work. So you'll know on a test, for example, if you've gotten perfect before you even hand it in. The first thing that's really important with a formal check is to know that when you substitute in your value for your unknown, um, you will know that you are correct if the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation are equal to the same thing. You know that you're wrong if that doesn't happen. So for this particular equation, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to substitute negative 6 everywhere that I see m. Remember, when you substitute, you always want to use brackets. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to just solve this following the rules of Vedmus. So 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Negative 5 times negative 6 is 30. Then I'm just going to add my 2. And all along I'm hoping that this is equal to 14. So negative 18 plus 30 is 12 and 12 plus 2 is 14. Now, because the left-hand side and the right-hand side are both equal to 14, I know I'm correct. So to finish this off, all I need to do is say left side equals right side. Therefore, m equals negative 6. If they were not equal to each other, then I know I have a mistake. The first thing that I would do is go back and check my work in the formal check. And if I've made sure I didn't make a mistake there, then I would go back to my equation and check how I solved.